Hey guys, Jim Dude, Jim Dude Guitars here. Um, got a kind of controversial video here, but uh, wanted to share a story. Um, I uh, recently had um, the five voice switch on this guitar here go out, and uh, it was making cracking and popping noises. And um, I uh, live in the uh, southern Illinois area. Don't really have a lot of places for guitar repairs, and I'm not too knowledgeable on guitars myself so uh, I usually take my guitar to the local guitar center which has been kind of hit or miss I've had good um, jobs and bad so anyway um, I took the switch that was sent to me from Kiesel because my guitar is under warranty I sent them a video and they sent it out you know within a week it was great and um, took it to guitar center and after a month of it sitting there with no reply, I finally called them and they said they were waiting on a wiring diagram from Kiesel, which Kiesel doesn't make the switch. They get it from another company. So I knew then that maybe I guess they didn't know how to go online and look up the diagram themselves. So I went and picked the guitar up and, um, you know, not knocking Guitar Center, you know, they didn't charge me for anything, they just put the switch in, but it wasn't working, like if I plugged it in, it wouldn't make any sound. So I was just with a guitar that wasn't fixed, and it wasn't, they weren't going to fix it anytime soon. Also to note, um, I play in uh, standard tuning, when my guitar came back, it was tuned to like some real low drop tuning, so I don't know if maybe the workers were playing it too while they had it, which was definitely not something I enjoyed having my guitar out of tune um, so luckily I was kind of uh, you know searching for a guitar tech and luckily on the Kiesel Facebook page uh, the fan group I found a guy named Derek Thatch he uh, lives in like uh, St. Charles area I believe um, over by St. Louis which is you know roughly an hour away from me and uh, said he would meet me and work on my guitar and uh, I did a little research and looked at his page, Guitar Thaturation, on Facebook. Uh, definitely check him out if you're in the area. And uh, saw some work he did on a vintage 1988 Gibson, uh, Gibson Les Paul. And uh, was really blown away by the uh, tools and attention to detail he showed. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll uh, let him wire my guitar and stuff like that. And... He also said he would do a setup and everything on it. So, you know, since I have gotten these guitars in uh, early 2019, um, I haven't really had any setups or anything done. I really didn't trust Guitar Center to do its uh, uh, setup on them. And, uh, you know, I'm not knocking all the techs at Guitar Center. Obviously, some are good. Um, if you know one that does good work, obviously, you know, I'm not knocking them. But the ones that I dealt with at my local one just were not good you know up to par and then um the next um best music shop in the stl area um i called them they they work on vintage guitars and when i told them i had a kiesel they said what's a kiesel so immediately i hung up and just decided uh to go with uh, derek and i'm glad i did so anyway um that's the story there's the new five-way switch and the setup and everything intonated i wanted you guys to hear how it sounds um i also sent uh, my Delos there because I did a pick guard change and made some mistakes. I'll go into that here in a minute. And also, if you look behind me, my Kemper is not sitting on my EVH amp because he's also trying to fix that as it was making some noises. Hopefully, nothing too expensive. I'm hoping it's just needing new tubes. So anyway, um, so yeah, he's definitely been amazing at all the work he's done. So I wanted to show you guys uh, how it sounds. So here we go. pick up these are the Kiesel Beryliums by the way
awesome. So, sounds great. <clears throat> Moving on to the next one. And, uh, this is why, uh, you don't do repairs yourself if you don't know what you're doing. So, I really shouldn't be saying anything about Guitar Center because, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable on things myself. So, I went and decided to change this pick guard myself. After never having never changed the pick guard, I thought, you know, just replace the screws, pop it off, pop the new one on. And boy was I wrong. So the first mistake I made was not having the proper tools to take off the tone and volume knobs. So I tried to make do and then so broke the tone pop. So there was one mistake. Second one, I didn't account that the wooden pick guard was going to need the neck being removed to put it on and cracked part of the pick guard. It's not noticeable. Can't even tell now, thanks to Derek. <clears throat> but uh, there was a gap. So, yeah. There's mistake number two. Also, after breaking the tone knob, there was no sound. So I said, you know, Derek, take this one, make it better too. And he did. He also oiled it. <clears throat> So, by the way, this is a uh, handiwork from Bob. His uh, he has Bob's custom plates on Facebook, and he has a website. He does special wooden back plates and truss rod covers and pick pick guards and everything for guitars um, with just about any wood you can think of. So he does gloss, natural finishes, anything you can imagine. Definitely check him out. So <clears throat> this is a roasted flame maple, special ordered from for my Delos um, to match my neck headstock it's flame maple roasted flame maple so uh, yeah basically putting the pick guard on was a total disaster but after getting it back also with the new setup standard tuning still it just plays amazing so now I have both my guitars back wired correctly these are the lithium covered pickups um, yeah, this thing plays amazing. So here you go, let you hear how this one sounds. <laughs> Also, I'll add, uh, this is a 12-inch radius, the Osiris is 20, so a little bit different in the neck profile and feel. This has a more strap tone and feel, so... Neck pick up. Sweet, sweet game.
So as you can see, both play just amazing. Um, honestly, I'll be taking my Vanquish uh, next um, to have it set up specifically for um, Half Step Down. So, I mean, he does great work. I highly recommend you guys going and finding yourself a local Luthier or Guitar Tech and uh, give them your business. Um, like I said, some guitar centers have great um, guitar techs, and I'm not knocking those ones, but if your guitar center tech doesn't even know how to do a simple setup or know what a multi-scale is or things like that and uh, want to keep your guitar and, and put it out of tune and, and not give you any updates or anything like that, definitely go find something better. Um, and like I said, uh, it worked for me. Um, my guitars play better than ever and uh, huge thanks to Derek again and all his work and yeah definitely uh, definitely check out your local guitar techs uh, in your area just uh, search Facebook search uh, Instagram just put it out there you'll find some awesome people that are willing to do some uh, really good work if given the chance so all right guys uh, that's about it so it's Jim dude uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe if you like the video and found it informative I appreciate it any and all support is greatly appreciated. Um, I do this channel just to be informative and help people out. So any uh, support is appreciated. So thank you guys and see you next time.